Sea Orc chillers that have been neglected for quite a while. <laughs> this place only calls when it breaks down. One compressor and one of the two chillers has been down for a while. I already have the power off, but it's been off for oil differential fault. Snowballed until they finally just have to get some service done to them. <laughs> there hasn't been history of service to these for years. So, cleaning out the barrels there. Have somebody doing the punching the tubes. I'm changing the oil filters, temperature sensor, uh, liquid filter cores. It takes two of them each one. So this one's done and up and running. So I'm just cleaning it up now, letting this drain drain out, waiting for the water treatment people to come so they could do their thing and kind of recover for a drink. Change the filters. Oil filters, liquid dryers, temperature sensors on that one as well. So, I mean, they do have a flat plate, which is nice for during the mild season when they could uh, get 50 degree water or so, 50, 60 degree water, you know, just off the cooling tower. But not this time of year. <laughs> For some reason, this thing's set kind of high in the EMS. There's no run permission. It's like 58 leaving, 62 returning. You see this been cycling, but it's like it's, it's cycling off at like 55 degrees. Oh, there it goes. It's only running down to about 50. It just happened to kick on right now. Building loads bring it back like 65, 66 degrees. That's even higher now. So. And it looks like it's going to want to bring on the second one. They might have just went to occupied mode or something. Maybe. I, I think their EMS is set screwy here. And somebody told me that it seems like it doesn't cool very well. In the morning and then it gets better so <laughs> they got more issues than just need the service here somebody's probably messed around in the ms got their schedule all screwed up or something 